So by the time this video comes out, the new Cobra Kai season should be out. Now, whether it's good or not, I'm not exactly going to be too sure. Again, they've been, they've been absolutely cooking with that show for quite a while, right? And it has been so successful ever since the first season where the main actor, Jolo Maradona, or I don't really feel like I fucked it. I, 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 did, I didn't pronounce that right, did I? I probably sound like a, a white guy with Tourette's trying to pronounce that name, but I promise Jolo, I tried my hardest. Again, the show was that successful. Actors like himself were able to then go on and do bigger and potentially better things when he was, of course, cast in the DCEU to play Blue Beetle. Now, again, we know the DCEU was a massive train wreck. It had multiple movies over its years fail. Some movies do good, some movies do shit. It's literally kind of like that meme, right? Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. But a couple of the recent movies, whether they were good or not, really did fly under the radar and very much performed in, oh, very much underperformed, sorry, in the box office. Blue Beetle was one of those movies. Blue Beetle was a movie that some people actually liked. A lot of people considered just a basic, fun superhero movie that just didn't do well at the theaters, right? And because of that, it was the last DCAU movie because that was the narrative of a lot of DCAU movies being like the positive and the other narrative was being like, all these movies kind of suck, right? But with James Gunn taking over the DC studios and announcing a new DC universe, it had a ton of fans kind of asking, would we be getting any of the DCAU actors to return in James Gunn's new DC universe. Again, for a while, it was said that for some reason, Gal Gadot would be coming back as Wonder Woman, which I think we all thought was gonna be a really strange idea because her acting is almost as stale as the bread. I fucking ate this morning, but she's hot, right? And I guess, I guess that's all that matters. Again, they did not bring her back. We know like pretty much the only characters I think who are coming back are like um, Viola Davies is returning in the Walla show. Uh, I think John Cena, he's obviously coming back in the Peacemaker show. And now it has been confirmed that Sholo Marijuana, I don't fucking know, will be returning as Blue Beetle in James Gunn's DCU. And it's not necessarily what we kind of thought it was going to be. Again, they're actually doing, I think, a smart strategy here by bringing him back and introducing him into this new universe in an animated form. Again, it gives kind of a lot of people time to forget that the Blue Beetle movie really happened for those who didn't like it, for those who thought it was average, for those who just want to forget the DCEU entirely, it gives them time to forget that. But also it spawns this new animated show, which hopefully for their sake, could potentially go on definitely for seasons and seasons, where it becomes popular enough that people associate Blue Beetle as the animated show. That way, I think in maybe four years time or so, maybe three seasons have been pumped out, we could maybe see Blue Beetle return in like a Justice League movie or something like that. Again, that would make a ton of sense uh, and it would be very good for the DCU. Again, it's not like this is a rumor online or anything like that. It was a major leak really that got so popular that I think DC were kind of just like, well, fuck it, Sholo, if you want to talk about it in Cobra Kai interviews, that is legitimately completely fine with us. And basically here's what he had to say about it. I am excited to yeah, scream Blue Beetle from the mountaintops. I mean, it, I was ready to do it back in August, and I am so happy with how that movie came out and the response, and the experience for me was otherworldly, so getting to do an animated version of it with, like, the crew and getting to expand and maybe even doing stuff that we wouldn't be allowed to do in, in the movie or, like, live action, is so appealing to me. So yeah, it's it's very, very interesting, right? You know, I'm actually semi-excited about this, even though I haven't seen the Blue Beetle movie. It actually makes me wanna watch it now. It actually gives me a purpose to watch it, knowing that it counts to the DCU, that 
even though that movie particularly wasn't in the DCU, it's going to count for something and it's going to be in relation to James Gunn's DC universe. And I think that's exciting. It's important that a character like Blue Beetle, which wasn't disliked in any way, especially with the take that they had, I think be carried over. And yeah, it, it kind of it kind of adds something to this DC universe, which is already really building and already another form of TV for it. Again, we know Marvel, the MCU, they had like 20 MCU movies before we got something different. We got the, uh, obviously, well, there was the Netflix shows, but then we got the Disney Plus shows, right? They all sucked. It looks like Marvel is probably going to be not really moving forward with too many TV shows other, you know, after Agatha, whatever the fuck that show is going to be like. And they're probably going to be mainly sticking to movies. But I think James Gunn, the DC Universe, have a major, you know, prospect right here to not only have the movies, but have live action TV shows, have animated shows, and have video games. Again, if the rumor that a Wonder Woman game is coming and is in development at DC Studios is true, I think that is a fantastic idea. Again, we've already had two Wonder Woman movies. The first one was good. The second one, no one gave a fuck about it. I think people, a lot of people want to forget that DCAU even existed. A lot of people want to forget that Wonder Woman existed because a lot of people just dislike it. This is another avenue for them to be like, well, the movies were already kind of saturated. We don't want to make a new Wonder Woman movie considering we just had one come out like four years ago, right? Why don't we do something different? And the video game market is so untapped for DC right now. They only had the Batman Arkham games, right? Then they had the jo Justice League game, which a lot of people didn't like. It's very, very untapped. The video game market is severely untapped right now for superheroes in general. I mean, you got Spider-Man who's dominating it right now. Wolverine will be coming into it. And then there's still some Batman stuff like Gotham Knights, which other than its cover, apparently it was shit. So there's not really any games like... I think for superheroes that are really coming out, it's super untapped right now. And imagine a Wonder Woman game that was like how the Spider-Man game was its own original story that wasn't, you know, uh, tied to a movie like the old video games were. That's going to be amazing. And this is what this, I think, DCU Wonder Woman movie is going to be like. It's going to be its own thing, but it's going to be, or game, sorry. It's going to be its own thing, but it's going to be tied to the DCU. And we know that whatever actors get put in the animated stuff, they're going to be in live action. Going to be the same with gaming. I think that's why whoever they cast to be a female lead for Wonder Woman, I think it can't be some actor like Alexander, Alexandra Dodorio who has no experience in gaming. I mean, you could, but it probably would be a disaster. I think let's get an actor who is really good obviously when it does come to the um video game technology side of things with the motion capture stuff and then obviously when they make a justice league movie or something like that she can then convert on and go to that so there's some interesting news coming out of dc right now a animated blue beetle show sounds very interesting a video game wonder woman you know thing also sounds really interesting it really just shows that james gunn is really trying to innovate how we see media, especially with superheroes now. Superhero media is probably going to completely change because James Gunn is just like so up to date with I think what he knows people want and how I think he thinks they're going to control this whole DCU. So if there's a Wonder Woman game coming, I think that's going to be fantastic and I definitely would play that. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Are you guys going to be interested in potentially seeing an animated Blue Beetle? Uh, are you guys potentially interested in seeing a live action Wonder Woman in ties to a video game Wonder Woman? I'm not sure what they're going to be doing. I'd very much like to know all your thoughts and opinions. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. If I've got any extra Blue Beetle footage, I'll probably show it now. I, I grew up watching, you know, Avatar The Last Airbender you know, the old X-Men show, even some of the newer ones now, like the animated space, Studio Ghibli, there it's it's a serious it's not it's not like a it could be sick. So